love, justice, respect, equality, kindness, compassion, equal in dignity, and rights. Hello and welcome to Equal in Dignity and Rights by the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights, home of the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. Today, you'll be introduced to another person of influence whose words are also etched into the stone of the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. At the end of this video, we'll prompt you with a few questions that will get you started in today's virtual journal entry. Remember, there is no right or wrong answer to what you write. You are human, equal in dignity and rights. A person of influence who is having an impact on the planet today is Malala Yousafzai. Today, Malala is still a young woman. As a child, her story has been likened to that of Anne Frank. Malala Yousafzai is a Pakistani activist for women's rights and specifically for education. She was born in 1997 in the Swat district of Mangora, Pakistan. Her father was an activist and champion of education, having opened and run a chain of private schools in their area. During Malala's adolescence, the Taliban came to occupy her region, putting pressure on local citizens to abide by their strict religious code, which forbids women to receive an education. The Taliban is a violent, fundamentalist military organization that wages war on civilians mostly in the Middle East through coups and corruption. Their violence is motivated by extreme strict religious interpretation of the Islamic text in ways that are often oppressive to women and ethnic or religious minorities. As the Taliban's influence grew in their area in 2008, closing schools and pressuring Pakistan citizens to abide by its strict codes, Malala's father, an activist himself, encouraged her to write about her experiences. At the age of 11, Malala was recruited by a reporter from the British Broadcasting Corporation, the BBC, to post about her experiences under Taliban oppression on a BBC blog. For a number of months, she chronicled her experiences of being banned from school while the violence of the Taliban ensued around her, killing citizens who protested their efforts. Malala's journal entries propelled her onto the world stage, and she became an instant insider's voice to the violence and inhumanity she and the women in Pakistan were facing. Her blog ended once the Pakistan government intervened and the Taliban's presence subsided. Over the next few years of her life, Malala became a vocal advocate for education and women's rights. She gave speeches around the world. Her celebrity became a point of contention for the Taliban as she spoke out against their methods. Angered by the negative publicity they received, Taliban extremists orchestrated an attack on Malala while on her way to school one day in October of 2012. They shot her in the head. Malala survived the attack by being flown out of Pakistan to the United Kingdom and undergoing multiple surgeries. She was in a coma for eight days. Malala's experience brought international attention to the violence of the Taliban and inspired action by the United Nations. The Pakistani government was pressured to find the culprits, adult men who had attacked a young girl named Malala Yousafzai and to work to end the violence within the country. Upon healing, Malala started an activist education organization called the Malala Fund. Malala Yousafzai's work of activism has continued in many ways as she champions human rights in speeches, books, and by meeting with diplomats and celebrities around the world to promote peace. In 2014, at the age of 17, Malala Yousafzai became the youngest winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. She continues to speak out against the current genocides and oppression happening around the world. When the whole world is silent, 
even one voice becomes powerful. Malala Yousafzai. Now it's your turn. No need to wait a single moment. Through the Schoology portal, we've left a space for you to record your thoughts. You may want to pause the video after each question to give yourself some time to write. Here are a few questions to help get you started. How is learning about Malala's life affected how you think about your own life and your education? If you could travel the world and be an advocate for a specific issue, what would that issue be and why? If you were to meet Malala Yousafzai today, what questions would you have for her? What would you want to know about her life today? Take your time. Remember, this is your journal, your diary. You can be honest with your thoughts. Just as Malala Yousafzai teaches us through her work, never forget how we can positively change the world when we are all equal in dignity and rights.